Hey everyone, I just wanted to show you this quick video on the Ninja Turtle cookie and I'll have another video on a different cookie and I mentioned this one green um, cookie cutter and I wanted to show you what um, the details look like once you uh, put it into your um, cookie dough. So I went ahead and made this video just to show you, well that and I have this order, but um, I want to show you the detail that this awesome cookie cutter does. Now I did mention I got this on Etsy. You will not be able to find this anywhere else. And I think I paid around $11 altogether with shipping and all. So um, it's not cheap. But like I said, uh, you won't be able to find it anywhere. And it is a really nice sturdy uh, cookie cutter. And it will do the indentations on there. So I'm going to... Um, show you what I've done so far besides rolling out my dough. Uh, I am using the Wilton rolling pin which is the largest. They have a couple and um, I am using the yellow rings and these come in three different colors and um, each one has a different uh, depth to it. So I'm using the yellow ring because these cookies cannot be very thick. If you get if you make your dough very thick, you will completely chop off all these um, uh, parts here, like the mouth, the eyes, because um, the cookie cutter is not very um, thick. So if you make your dough too thick and you press this in, it will completely chop this off. So I learned to just make it make the dough a little thinner, and since your dough is going to be thinner. Uh, you'll, you're going to bake it for less time because um, it's a lot thinner. So you don't want to burn your cookies, so just be careful and just keep an eye on them. And so all I did was um, just like your regular uh, cookie cutter that you would um, press your cookie in. And I, what I do is I just uh, put a little bit more. Let me see if I'm recording. Okay. <laughs> I'm pressing a little bit on the eye and the mouth. Just where it has a little bit of the detail. So um, it could actually make the, the indentation and leave the, the, the print really nice and um, very detailed. Uh, I also saw that if I press it just normally and then lift it. The the picture is is good, but it's a little bit faint. So what I've been doing is just um, pressing it in and then going just with one finger on the eyes and the mouth area and here by the knot or the um, tie here from the mask. And I noticed that that way. Now you don't want to press too hard and go up and break it. You know you want to go. You don't want to do that. So um, I have noticed that that comes out really, really um, nicely. Um, this is not bad, but I think this this way is a lot nicer. So I will gently go back on here and then just push in on the mouth and the eyes. Just be very careful that you don't do it too hard and break it. It's a nice sturdy um, cookie cutter, but just want to be careful with that and that is it so here I have some that I already have on my um, on my cookie sheet and these are going to be going into the oven I do put them in the oven uh, well this the way I make mine I do them uh, for seven minutes at 395 I know 395 yeah it's almost 400 degrees so, um, I do them for about seven minutes, and I do put them on the top rack first for the first five minutes, and then I bring them down to the sec to the lower rack for another two minutes. And if I see that they're um, still haven't gotten a little golden brown, I'll leave it for an extra minute. But I do keep an eye on that last minute because I I don't want the bottoms to burn, and um, that's how I've been doing it for, for a while. These I will keep an eye on a little bit uh, more and probably uh, like subtract a couple minutes because like I said it's very thin. And I mean they're not like ridiculously f uh, thin but they're not as uh, thick as the normal ones that I make. And so um, I will be keeping it on them because I do not want them burned especially because I am not going to ice the top of these. Uh, the 
the places that they're the places they're go, they're going to. Um, they are, don't want the icing on top because they really like the um, the detail to them. So I'm going to just do something a little bit different, and I'll post an, another video on um, how those are going to turn out. I'm just basically going to put the icing on the reverse side, and I've done that that with some other cookies and uh, they just love them because you can see the detail on them really nicely but then you still have the icing flavor the sweetness of the icing on the back so I'll see how I'm going to work with these um, and then I'll definitely share with you guys so that's all I wanted to show you for now and uh, that'll be all for this video I thought these were so cool so um, go ahead and check out like I said Etsy really quickly before they run out since the movie just came out these are going to be um, very popular so anyways guys thanks so much for watching don't forget to subscribe so you can catch my videos that I will be um, happily posting for you guys and I will talk to you soon have a good one guys